Okay, here's how to build the awesome and modify your Alien Bees ABR 800 into what is now absolutely unquestionably the most versatile strobe on the planet. I mean, you can add a uh, studio umbrella to it. You have, now this is removable. Let me show you up here. This is the uh, light stand attachment. This entire assembly just unscrews right here for attaching to a light stand. Here's a tripod socket mount right here. And you can stick in the umbrella flash center unit. Uh, perfect ring flash. Now it's the perfect, uh, the best macro strobe I've ever used. Um, now I'm going to add a pistol grip. Now this is $16. It's used by videographers for attaching a video camera. So all we need to do, we actually, I think they're $13 at B&H Photo right now. See this is the actual factory hand grip but I'm just going to add this unit now Okay, and tighten it up. There we go. Nice and tight. I showed you in a prior video about adding the strap for this or if you're going to use it uh, as a uh, studio, uh, studio strobe on a light stand. That modification um, now here's the $20 modification to turn this into the perfect unit. Now let me unplug the power here. There we go. Now you can use um, like split rings for a dollar at the hardware store. These are actually just aluminum circular spacers from a hard drive. Um, but here you can see, let me oops, bump the camera, excuse me. Here you can see what I've done is I've added uh, Velcro strips. This is industrial Velcro you can get at the hardware store. So I have uh, industrial Velcro around the unit right here. And so what I've done is I have a vertical strip right here. Now these are um, Velcro lanyards that you can uh, get. They're actually uh, tie straps are made of industrial Velcro. And let me get a unit so I can show you what they look like. You can also get them at Lowe's and Home Depot. Um, I think it's like two dollars and fifty cents for like three strips. One end looks like this. It's about two and a half feet long. And the other end looks like that. I think you can get three strips for three dollars or something like that. But it's just industrial Velcro. And I took two of these on either side and uh, I mated it to uh, the ABR 800. I actually didn't need to bring it this far out onto the reflector dish. I only had to bring it to right here. But I made, I added a second strap for safety um, so it wouldn't actually peel out. But these are incredibly tough. This is never going to break. Of course I just added a regular uh, camera strap right here so I can hang it around my neck. But then I used two of these same straps to go all the way around to secure everything together. So not only do I have it cinched vertically this way, but I also have it cinched all the way around the unit. And I've got various interspacing Velcro so that this strap won't move anywhere on the unit. This is completely removable and reversible, although it's really tough. Um, the industrial Velcro strips with the removable backing are incredibly tough, but it will remove without damaging your unit. But now this is the most useful Absolutely the most useful sucker. I'm gonna buy, I was planning on buying a second one of these, but now since I uh, came up with the uh, macro invention, uh, you can call it that, for this unit, so now it's the best macro strobe I've ever used. But now I can, I've got hands free, I can dangle it around my neck. And even though it's huge, don't let that size confuse you. This unit, the ABR 800, is incredibly lightweight. It's $400. No, I have no connection to Paul C. Buff and Alien Bees. Right now I'm uh, using it with a uh, Nikon D750 and inside the unit. Ooh! One hand is a little heavy, however. Inside the unit is a, uh, a Takina 100mm uh, F2.8. There we go. So that's that. Um, Neck strap, vertical grip. I went from this grip, which is factory, it's a little too short and it doesn't have finger grooves, to this grip, which is a lot more comfortable. And when it's hanging around your neck, you can actually uh, use it like a three-point carry. 
Um, this would be the perfect, perfect unit for the reception at weddings. Uh, everybody should buy one. As I said, your next lens should not be a lens purchase. You should really, really, really grab one of these. Um, the battery pack, the Mini Vagabond. I can't remember what they are. They're two hundred and twenty dollars, or they're one. Maybe they're one seventy-eight. I can't remember the exact price. I've got a couple of them. I think they're one seventy-eight. Uh, the power cable comes with the ABR eight hundred. Um, I just have a regular shoulder strap from a rifle sling for this and this hooks in you get a lot of flashes out of that pack I mean a lot it'll pack you through a whole wedding considering the fact that a quantum turbo 3 is five hundred dollars and this unit is like whew, 35 percent the price of that um, you know this is the way to go um, I got a couple quantum turbo 3's I mean really expensive units for powering um, Nikon Speedlight 900s, 910s, 700s, and uh, and uh, SB 800s. Uh, very, very expensive. So you can turn your your Speedlight into a machine gun, basically. The recharge on this unit is also incredibly fast. Um, if anybody uh, tries to step up to you and say, "Oh my God, what have you got on your camera there? What is that obnoxiously huge thing?" You can tell them to stuff stuff it up their ass because, <laughs> excuse me, but frankly, the the light that comes off of this unit. I mean, uh, you can crank up the power. You could own the night. You can crank it down, and with my little add-on, you can make it a perfect macro, a strobe. You can uh, blast away at weddings and receptions. It creates the most beautiful modeling light you've ever seen. Uh, over at modelmayhem.com, I mean, this thing is uh, pure gold. It's only $400. Uh, it's that with this unit. Like I said, you can plug it into the wall and use it a regular studio strobe, but then it's not portable. But $400 and basically $178 plus my $20 add on here. You got like $15 of Velcro. This is. The best $600 you will ever spend, and there's no way, no way in hell, you will ever regret that uh, because th your lenses can only take you so far. You got to own the light. You have to own the light. Your lenses and your camera can only take you so far. And uh, Mother Nature is not cooperative, and she's definitely not cooperative inside because you got a bunch of crappy overhead halogens and fluorescents, and you know you could have the best composition in the world, and you might catch it right, but you own this light, and you you, know, you pop your camera in here, you can you can really, really, really own it. And uh, anybody that tries to step to you on what's that obnoxiously huge thing around your neck. <laughs> You can tell them to shove it because the results speak for themselves and they'll blast everything else away. Um, I challenge you to go over onto uh, Flickr for the ABR 800 and take a look at the results that pop out of this thing. The four or five people that have bought this thing off my recommendation are ecstatically happy. And now with my upgrade inventions on uh, making this unit go from awesome to absolute perfection, um, this unit is so great now that I brainstormed it and improved it that uh, I myself am buying another one and uh, I'm packing this thing to Florida with me it doesn't weigh that much even though it's huge don't let its size confuse you this is the most versatile strobe on earth now there's nothing else that can step to this period N there's nothing there is nothing period flat out no argument you can't say nothing you know you can't refute it it's the way it is and that's the way it is period so Thanks for watching. If you like this video and drop me a buck or two, go tell me to jump off a cliff. But uh, like I said, I got no connection to Paul C. Buff at all, the company. This is made in America, by the way. It's not made in China. It's made by a small group of dedicated folks down in Tennessee. They're awesome. They got incredible customer service. And if you break something or whatever, they also got incredible service. Very fast and uh, friendly. And uh, I highly recommend their units. And... Uh, I'm so glad that I was able to figure this out without permanently drilling holes in it. I was going to do that. I'd figured out a way to take it apart and actually add a little harness for packing around my neck. But this is non-permanent, but it's never going to come loose. And uh, thanks for watching. I'm glad I could show you this awesome mod. And those of you out there that already own this ABR 800, please do this modification because it will change everything. Okay? Thanks for watching. Bye. Did you notice the vacuum in the background right there? Don't mention. Don't talk about my vacuum in the background. <laughs>